Hello everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing another episode of Three Kingdoms 2 Red Cliffs. Let's go ahead and get started. So as always, I'm going to be skipping this intro because we already did it for the first playthrough of Tsao I have to decide which faction we're going to select this time. Yan Baihu, bandit, once believed to have been beheaded by a Sun general, the bandit Yan Baihu, known as the White Tiger, Baihu, Bai is white, Hu is tiger, is very much alive and regaining his strength at his hidden bandit camp. While the so-called nobles fight for control of lands and the emperor, Yan Baihu seeks to overturn all of them and free the Shanyue, the hill people of Jiangdong from Han oppression. He is joined by a misfit cast of bandits and pirates. Limited economy, but raiding provides resources, defeat warlords to receive freak technologies, and can train Tarkins. Dragon ship is irreplaceable, but trains Karambit warriors for free. All right, let's uh, try this one out. So the scouts have to say that he is a non-Han leader. Limited economy, train unique unit is the Tarkin, okay. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and play this guy. Seems to be pretty unique. The Han warlords dare call us bandits and pirates when they are the ones who steal from the people. The people of Jiangdong yearn for the freedom that will come if the Great White Tiger feasts upon their oppressors. As a bandit, your economy is limited to the villagers in your camp. Okay. Uh, you receive resources for killing enemy units and destroying enemy buildings. Your dragon ship slowly spawns free karambit warriors and should be preserved. Okay, so it's spawning... I see, okay. So it spawns some free karambits. And I guess one thing we can do right away is to upgrade those karambits. And we have a few objectives. We want to destroy all, defeat all warlords, defeat soon by 210, and find a pirate camp on Liu Kui Island. And we need to find out where soon is as well. So I'm gonna go ahead... And start sailing around here. Uh, Soon is yellow. And he's all the way over here, I believe. So that's going to be interesting, to say the least. Let's get an attack upgrade for our free Karamit Warriors. The Soon took a peasant's head and put it on a plate, claiming it belonged to the White Tiger. They must be made to know that you are very much still alive. Alright, our transports seem to have very high capacity as well. The dragon ship automatically trains Karambit warriors for free, send it to enemy coastlines to raid your enemies. Yeah, so let's do that right away. I might take out Liu Zhang first here. Have him kill off the monks. And since we only have a couple villagers, we might as well go directly on the offensive right away. Did they all convert one guy? That's not a very good investment. Oh, 
，进攻，准备救命令，准备就绪。Okay, let's see if we can take out that TC first. Send in more Karabits here. And I guess we're limited in age as well. They do get the upgrade, so I'm glad I researched the infantry upgrades right away. Oh, it looks like the barbarians are actually allies with us. Let's just check that real quick. Yeah, it looks like they're allies with us. That's really cool. It's good to have some friends in these lawless lands, if I do say so myself. Let's pick up arson. We unfortunately can't produce fishing ships by the looks of it. And we can train Tarkins. That's right, Tarkins are a unique unit. I guess I'll want to tech into those sooner or later. I can build trade cogs though. Is there anyone to trade with? Fuck it. Maybe pick up squires here. Have these guys go for those berry bushes. I guess for some reason I can't kill this king. The warlord's dead. We've researched conscription. Very good. And clean up these buildings for additional resources too. Let's bring the dragon ship over to the east coast there. Dragon ship has a full crew, okay. So that means we need to unload some of them. Let's bring the dragon ship over here. Keep getting resources in. Very good. Let's pick up bloodlines for our hero. Okay. 
This guy almost finished the tower, but he never did. Now he's idle forever. Okay, so now we want to head towards yellow. We're going to bring them all the way across the map. We want to find a pirate camp in the south too. I guess if we want to go to the very south, we can keep looking. I gotta remind myself that this is a really big map. Uh, I think I was supposed to see a notification. I heard a sound, but... Okay, we're full of Krabbit Warriors here. I wonder if Conscription increased the training rate of the Krabbit Warriors from... My TC, or from the, the Dragon Ship, not the TC. Also good that we don't have a population limit here. Yeah, this is Sun Quan. Yep, we're targeting him. Looks like the Barbarians are quite a strong faction here. How do we get to the castle age? Our hints say all factions, choose a warlord, play, rivals. Um Okay. I guess there isn't anything special about like advancing to the next age here. Okay, we found a pirate island to the east. Okay, this is good. I mean, so far this is great. We have a southern island, which I imagine will boost our economy a little bit more as well. And our brave warlord is marching across towards Sun Quan. You are bandit scum, Yan Bai Vu. I will personally put your head on a plate. Okay, we got Elite Karambit Warrior from defeating Liu Biao. And we can build siege equipment here. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, I lack wood though, so for now I can't. Okay. 
Got these guys to elite status just in time, too. We can, however, train some Tarkins. Let's go ahead and do that. Bring one of our transport ships over here. Still looking for that southern island. Sungtron has joined his brother and father in the dirt. The so tall tigers of Jiangdong now know the power of the white tiger. Our dragon ship just got stronger. Very good. We should make some efforts to repair it as well. Okay, these are barbarian lands. I gotta be sure not to lose this dragon ship. So let's uh, let's repair it up real quick. And now we have additional text available too. We're in the castle age, I just realized. Pretty cool. Still searching for the southern island. But our karambits are getting quite strong. Who do we want to attack next? Uh, we still have red, purple, and green to contend with. I think purple's alone in the south, so we might want to deal with them. Wait, what the hell? Enemy bandits, but we're... we're bandits. Why are they labeled as bandits? They're Sun Chuan, what the hell? Interesting. I mean, I suppose what that does mean is that we can eventually trade with them, right? Just want to make sure I keep my dragon ship stocked up here. Okay, so purple will produce ships by the looks of it. But they've been under attack as well here. 
什么？准备六何种好？准备六具，是一。Still do not know where this Hainan Pirate Island is. Now we're in the Imperial Age. And the Obey is in the Castle Age, but the Barbarians, which are on our team, are also in the Castle Age, which is good. This is stable just floating around out here. Let's escort our Dragon Ship northwards. Dragon Ship's got a full crew. That it does. It does give us lots of resources to destroy all these buildings, though, which is good. So we want to take care of the obey at some point. Is there anything else that we can get that's useful? Not particularly. Oh, the obey is in the imperial age now. Saltos made it to castle. Still need to find that southern island, man. No idea where it could possibly be. Okay, gotta keep in mind that there's enemy ships patrolling these waters now. It's gonna be real careful. boat doesn't just immediately fold over I'm willing to bet Salsa has a dock around here in this area move more ships over to where the sun ship or the dragon ship is so I can guard it that is a castle a pair of castles, in fact. Oh, 
And Tata is also in the Imperial Age now. So it looks like these two are going to be where the crux of the fighting is going to be directed towards. Still unable to find that southern island, man. Where could it be? Do we get a university? Can our villagers build universities? Probably not, right? Dragon ship has a full crew. Let's unload these bad boys. Start marching upwards. I guess we can kill Tal Tal last. Try to kill Liu Bei first. Let's get some wood going. Pick up double bit axe. Cause why not? Do four villagers justify the cost? No, but... That's alright. These guys are producing pikemen. They're still producing men-at-arms too. It's not gonna do much. They don't even have full upgrades. They have lots of pierce armor. Sent all my guys here at once, I think. We really need to prioritize taking these castles down. Here's the dock from Tal Tal. Let's go take it out. Something about Karambit Warriors? Ah, uh, yes. We're full up. Great. Okay, one castle down. This is wonderful. Let's hope they don't have any more. And start taking out this TC. We need to focus our attacks a little bit more, especially considering that our unit comp is thinning somewhat. Let's get some more Tarkins out. We do have all of our technologies that we need. That's Lil Bay's TC gone. Our Tarkins are now stronger. Cool. Still never found that southern island. I guess we can trade here? With some trade cards? That'll boost our economy a little bit. Bolster, rather. Tossel's got his Farimba Cataphracts. He might end up being the most troublesome enemy, honestly. He continues turning those guys out. Oh, 
种命令。攻击，准备就作战制。I have no idea where that southern pirate camp is, man. Maybe it's like further down this direction. But it looks like the trigger to defeat an enemy is to destroy their town center. So I know Tosos town center is up here, so we might be able to skip the castles even and just make a mad dash for the TC. Still no sign of that other island. There we go. As if on cue. Let's have these guys go for some wood. Wow, these Tarkins are quite strong now. Plus three, three plus five. That's a lot of armor. Alright, let's consolidate our army now. Bring them all together. This isn't what I meant by bringing them all together, but okay. That trample damage, man. And stirrups, I think. We might come to regret leaving Taltal for last. Unfortunately, we still have barbarians on our side. They get a big dent to these folks. Let's see if we can sneak by these castles and get to the TC. Dragon ship has a full crew. The TC should be near here, there it is. Mm -hmm. 
Boom! What a snipe. Will they surrender? That's the question. No, it doesn't look like they feel like surrendering, so we might need to destroy them all, actually. That is unfortunate, to say the least. Just hoping to make this a clean break, but I guess we will not be so lucky. But it looks like Taltao's not putting much much of a fight either. N none of these warlords really put too much of a fight up. Hopefully I didn't regress down to an easier difficulty level. But this set of missions has been very, very simple so far. Crew has a full set of Dragon Warriors. Rambit Warriors. Now let's send them over. Let's bring the ship closer. Crush these fellas. There we go, he's been completely defeated. The Warlords have been defeated and the White Tiger feasts upon their remains. As the Han burn, people of Jiangdong now taste their first freedom. The name Yan Baihu will now be forever remembered and revered. We've entered free play, played our hearts content, when finished, we can declare victory at the dock. I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and declare victory here. Lovely. So let's see, this dock was not reachable. Oh, well, so much for those trade cogs. This dock, however, is reachable. That's good to know. I feel like, wait, is it just me or is the map slightly different? No, it's not. I think it's the same map. It's just been a while since I last played. And it was on hard difficulty, as I can confirm in the top there, so yeah, I guess that was the third episode of Red Cliffs 2 Yan Bai Hu. I thought it was going to be more difficult, but it ended up being pretty easy. A uh, pretty fun level overall. You get to pretend to be raiders and you have free units that you can kind of just run at enemies and destroy buildings. So there's a lot of fun to it. You're crushing warlords who are supposed to be strong, but I guess you with your little camp of two villagers and a bunch of Karambit warriors are stronger than all the warlords in China. Uh, not, sure, not too sure what to make of that, but it is what it is. In case, my name is The Clever Fool. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.